Today I'm going to be cooking up the Old Dog Bacon Cheeseburger. We're going to kick this off with some chopped pancetta. Just want to get this rendered down. And I'm using the Blackstone griddle, running it at a medium high. And now for the namesake, this beautiful hot dog right here. This hot dog, like the ground beef that I'm going to be using, came from Porter Road. And this is made from dry aged beef, dry aged, uncured beef. And it smells amazing. So first thing I'm going to do is split this hot dog down the middle. Just kind of butterfly it open. We're going to cross hatch it. Cut it in half. This pinch it moved over. Some of that pinch out of grease. Put those hot dogs down. And I'm going to put a steak weight on there. Okay, now we're going to make a quick sauce. I have some mayo here. I'm not measuring anything. A little less than a half a cup though. I found this at my grocery store the other day. It's Beaver brand jalapeno mustard. I want a little spice. And again, I'm not measuring this, just plopping it in. There we go, looks good. Let me get these hot dogs off to the side here. So the two right burners I have off, so it's going to keep everything nice and warm. Get this pancetta off to the side. Now I have a nice big white onion ring. Let's get a little cooking oil in here. White onions are pretty mild and I'm not trying to caramelize this. I just want to get it broken down just a little bit, just kind of softened up. So now for that meat patty, it's a six ounce meatball, and this is a 50% blend of beef and pork belly bacon, and it smells so good. I mean, it smells like a really nice smoked meat. Again, from Porter Road, I'm going to have a discount link down below if you're interested, 15% off. Now because of the addition of the bacon blended in with this beef and the other things I have going on on this burger, I've decided I'm not going to salt it. It's not going to need any salt, it's going to have plenty of flavor and I just don't want this to get over salty. Nice brioche bun. Flipped. Nice. Now in this ring, which I'm going to call the dog collar, I'm going to add some Fontina cheese, grated Fontina. I'm going to put some of this pancetta on board here. A little water. Hey, looks good. There's a lot of rich fatty stuff going on here, so I need some acid. I'm going to put on a couple of pickles here, actually three nice thin pickle slices. Those dry aged hot dogs looking good. Wow. And last but not least, wow. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Go ahead and get some of that mad dog sauce on the bun here. Okay, 
and crown it. Wow. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Look at that. This is one of those burgers that it's it'll fall apart if I slice it. So apologies, those of you who want to see it sliced. But right off the bat, I'm looking at it. There's like a, a crispy cheese skirt coming around outside the onion and a lot of melted cheese inside that onion ring. So not only is this an explosion of textures, I mean, I'm getting that cheese skirt, that toasted cheese skirt, very similar to what you'd get at the squeeze in, but I'm getting, you know, that gooey, gooey melted Fontina cheese, the saltiness, I'm glad I didn't add any salt, the saltiness of the cheese, but also that pancetta, the kind of pickles break it up very nicely, but that beef patty with the, you know, 50, 50 blend of bacon, amazing. I'm getting smoke. I, I, I mean, it's just, it's overwhelming. It's sensory overload as far as burgers are concerned. Very happy with it. I'm glad I went with that brioche bun. It needed something to stand up to, you know, the bun is tough enough to handle the load here. Anyway, guys, thanks for stopping by. Keep the suggestions coming in. See you in the next video. Cheers.